Hello fellow Araxians. Today I want to talk to you about population imbalance. One of the nasty side effects of a sandbox game with no match sizes is unbalanced fights. In a two-faction system like World of Warcraft, there's no recourse to fix issues like this. If you were like me and you played on a server that heavily favored one faction, the smaller faction was generally just screwed in open world PvP events. Planetside is fortunate enough to have three factions which means they have the tools to combat this issue. The problem is, there's no incentive to fight the right faction to balance the population. This is an example of the dark side of the three-faction system. The Terran Republic has a significant population advantage. The other two factions are reluctant to fight the faction that has so much population, so the end effect is that they ignore the Terran Republic, the VS and the NC ball up in one corner of the map, ignore all the objectives, and just go for a fight amongst themselves at Quartz Ridge. The TR is left with nothing to do other than march to the enemy warp gates with no contest. This highlights the largest issue with the current wind conditions. The faction that is doing the most to play towards the wind conditions, in this case the Terran Republic, is also the faction that is getting the least reward in terms of engaging gameplay. Let's look at the other side of the coin. Here, the Terrans have an even greater population advantage. But, the other two factions have gotten fed up from them locking continents all the time, so they decided to double-team the Terrans. So even though they have 40% of the population, they're effectively fighting the combined might of VSNC, which have 60% of the population. Unable to withstand those odds, they're pushed almost back to their warp gate. Now let's take a look at what we ideally want to happen. Notice how the Terrans still have a significant population advantage. But, in terms of territory control, the map is very even. This is due to the fact that no faction is getting ignored, and the two smaller factions are putting a greater amount of resources into fighting the Terrans. So even though you have very imbalanced world populations, you've created very balanced fights in each hex. The most important part of this balance comes from the fact that there are fights going on every possible lattice on this map. In the previous maps, you may have noticed that all the activity was balled into one or two hexes. On this map, you can see bases ticking in at least five different areas. Now, the primary solution to these problems is sort of counterintuitive. Right now, the game tries to address these issues by giving the underpopulated faction a bonus in hopes that will encourage more players to join the lower populated faction, bringing the world pop to that ever coveted 33, 33, 33 number. The whole premise behind this is flawed. Too many times I've watched even when the populations are within a very small margin of each other, two factions gang up on the other faction, effectively making it a 66% versus 33% fight. And when the populations are not balanced, what tends to happen is the two small factions that do have that experience bonus just fight each other. So they get the reward of the bonus, but they don't take on the risk of fighting the larger faction. The overpopulated faction ends up steamrolling the continent, locking it, and getting accused of zerging, when really all they were doing was looking for a fight. The fix is relatively simple. Experience modification should be based off of strictly territory control, never population. As a faction's territory control dwindles, the experience for killing them should decrease. This encourages factions, whether they are low population or high population, to always move to fight the faction that is the largest threat in terms of territory control. Now we've addressed faction population imbalance. Let's talk about population imbalance within hexes, usually referred to as zerging. In order to do that, we need a spawn system that makes it easy to start new fights somewhere other than where the zerg is. Currently, the spawn system is geared towards getting people into the action. It's a noble goal, but it doesn't know when to stop. This results in instant action, sending people into a base that already has 150 combatants at it, when the base can really only sustain 60 people. Redeploy side also makes it really difficult to start fair fights. You either bring a large force, and then no one wants to redeploy in because they see the large force sitting there, or you take a tiny force and then you are immediately wiped out because if one squad leader can get spawned in, all of a sudden their whole squad comes in 
and the population is unbalanced in the defender's direction. Okay. Spawn rules currently are wildly complicated, and they need to be streamlined into an easily understandable format. First, determine what size fight each base can handle. For ease of discussion, let's say small outposts are supposed to be 24 versus 24, large outposts and major facilities are supposed to be 48 versus 48. Any spawn along the front lines should be available to everyone on the map as long as the bases have not crossed that population threshold. So the NC redeploy screen would look like this. They can deploy to any base that's touching enemy territory as long as the population is not over the threshold and they can spawn at any friendly Sunderer that's in link territory still within the population threshold. Here's what the VS spawn map would look like. Note, there is no way to spawn into a hex while you are outside of it once it reached that threshold. The only way to join a fight there would be to drive, fly, or walk. As it stands now, when you set up a Sunderer in enemy territory, you can't expect a lot of help from friendlies because they're too far away to spawn but you know you're going to get hammered by redeploy side. By streamlining the spawn system like this, you know what to expect. You know you're probably going to get 24 enemies, but you know you can get an equal amount of friendlies to spawn into that same hex. Now, with a game as sandboxy as this, fights are never going to be strictly fair. And something that we'll never be able to control or account for is a 48-man reaver crash. You just can't balance that. Jeez. Oh my god. That is so many reavers. But that does not mean we should give up any attempt to encourage good fights. Encourage the general population to enter even balanced fights by making it easy to start them. Penalize people for going after the faction that's already getting double teamed. And as an added bonus, when you bust up the population in this manner, you get rid of the negative zergs and you even make performance better across the board. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you planetside.